Guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. So today we're doing this cigar that's kind of like a little bit hype because I I don't know anything about the cigar. I, I I heard a lot of people tried it. I'm not even sure if I tried it before because that looked familiar to me and I seen it or something like that. So you know I think uh, Eric sent me one of these, so I'll I'll review it. Uh, you know this is the Smoking jacket cigar hanky. All right. Uh, okay. Now um, let's take a look at the cigar. Get some information. We'll get started. Okay. Smoking jacket hanky is six by fifty-one Toro. It's just a weird size because it's fifty-one. Nine dollar a cigar MSRP in box of twenty. Wrapper is Dominican Republic from. Kotui. Binder is Dominican Republican from Monte Plata. Filler is Dominican Republic from some private collection reserve. And a little bit of Nicaraguan Condega de Heroes. This thing looks beefy. This thing looks um, like veiny and yeah. Th this looks like why they don't use uh, Dominican Republic uh, rappers because it's veiny and ugly. But yeah, it's like um, someone that just have too much protein. So, not wasting too much time, let's get started because I, I gotta get all this thing recorded for you guys' enjoyment. And I'm going on vacation, so I better get this done. I better get this done, right? All right, so... Uh, it's a nice, smoky, woodsy smell. Yeah, it's like a nice woodsy, leafy smell. There we go. Oh my god, a draw is horrible. It's a leafy, floral, a little bit of a stink. The, like mustiness, a little bit of saltiness. It's on the cold draw. It's like, I don't know, it just feels damp, but it shouldn't be. My cigars are usually in the dry side. All right. It's peppery. It has that little bit of floral clone taste. There is a little bit of dabs of saltiness. Woodsy. Kind of metallic like.
A little bit of barnyard, I guess. Mm, there's something that try to gather together as a flavor. It's like airy uh, mixture of taste, but it's really hard to identify that one. It's not together. And then it kind of fades away and becomes saltiness. So, well, anyway, that's what I got right now. Let's get to the first stir. Be right back. All right, we are the first stir. And this cigar, uh, it's one of those cigars that says, sorry, but I'm not sorry. Um... What do I mean by that? This cigar, the draw is wet. It's like, it's tight, but you can smoke it. So like, it's like, I was thinking, so maybe there is a stem somewhere I can pull it up, but like, as I smoke it, I can, I can, I can smoke it. Not only I can smoke it, the flavor comes in between things. Like, you know, when you take a uh, draw on a cigar, you taste the palate, retro hill, and then you taste from smelling it okay but this cigar you tasting in between that like when i'm about to write your hair i'm tasting it so <laughs> the flavor no on the palate i get red pepper i get lemon peel i get some sort of creaminess and then we're not about to rush your hair this is we're not about to the smoke is about to hit my nose i get some serious caramel like you can tell that's caramel caramel once the caramel finishes you get a little bit of stinkiness and then you change to pistachio yeah pistachio what the hell? What the hell? Like this cigar is trying to say, I'm gonna be weird, but it tastes good. This cigar, in a in a way, is pretty amazing. And that pepper lingers, which I don't like, but it's pretty amazing. And there's some sweetness to it too. I enjoy it. But that draw feeling is just so weird. It feels like smoking through a wet, wet cigar, but the cigar is not wet. All right. That's first stir. High remarks. You know, it's one of those... Um, really pretty woman with a devil inside. Like that. No, actually, no. I should describe it as a really muscular, ugly, big, giant woman when the devil in, with the devil inside. Something like a muscular Marge Simpson. You know she's sweet inside, but you know it's 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 hard to describe. So, anyways, second third, you right back. All right, second third. This thing changed again. Now, I don't know if that changed for the better or the worse, because now you start to feel that medium, medium plus strength. Still feels wet, but it's not wet. I don't know. I, can, I don't know if you just hear that crack. I just pressed on it and it cracks a little bit. But now the pistachio is not that prominent. Caramel kind of died down a little bit. Now you taste some old classic light coffee with some toffee with some not i like uh like almond and maybe a little bit of light brown sugar so there's a difference between brown sugar okay dark brown sugar light brown sugar taste more like a light brown sugar it's not as Nice nah, pungent. And that's what I'm getting right now. Now it's like a dessert kind of thing. But it's like a different point of view than the first third. It's not the same. P 
palette profile. It's a different kind of sweet dessert rather than the first dessert. All right? From a caramel that went to a, a brown sugar because it got lighter, it's different for me. It's not like usually just the sweetness kind of can keep going. That caramel in the first third, you can tell it's caramel. Like it's it's that pungent of caramel. It's not just a caramel sweetness. It's like caramel burn taste. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I, I don't know if the second third is turned for the better because it got lighter. But because it got lighter, different sets of taste get to surface. And I don't think that flavor will surface the same way if it didn't get lighter. Because if th these notes are just not going to surface the same way if you kept all those pungent flavor in the first stir. It's a good blend. But I'm still a little bit confused about it. All right. Let's get the band off. The band. <clears throat> Very simple. Just this hanky and this gold band. Um, like two-tone gold on this with the, their logo. Smoking jacket. It looks like a, you know, like a collar phone thing. But it also looks like a handkerchief. So I can understand it's like a hanky, you know. It kind of get multiple length uh, multiple description multiple i don't know easter egg in here kind of in a way so it's not bad it's just that it's hard to how to tell like how do you know this is a smoking jacket if you've never seen it before it's good but now like like i say the cigar brand whole thing with the branding the thing all that stuff is minimalistic at the same time weird okay so yeah finish last stir be right back all right i'm done last stir so last stir kind of died down just pepper and woodiness uh i would say the last stir is probably the worst part of the cigar but the rest of it is very enjoyable very different very i think um surprisingly good okay so with that being said last stir it just got softened up i don't know why it was fine until like i think the steam is kind of wet even though my humidor is 60. Yeah, you still get a little bit of sweetness. You still kind of get a little bit of caramel. You still get that caramel was about to go to pistachio taste, but it's like it doesn't go all the way. It doesn't go to the pistachio. And you get pepper, you get a little bit of spice, woodsiness, maybe a little bit of creaminess as well. That's what I got for last supper. It's a lot lighter. A lot, a lot, a lot lighter. It tastes like steam. Okay, so with that being said, I will give... 13 and a half, 14 dollars for this cigar. It's very enjoyable. Tastes like a specialty. Um, definitely tastes like a boutique. It tastes thought out. Tastes they try to make something different. It's good. I like it. I can recommend it. And the hype is good. There, there, there's a reason for the hype. So with that being said, this cigar is good. All right. So uh, big thanks to Eric for sending me this cigar. And I, I did enjoy it. He himself don't even have one yet. So I told him that he should go try one. He should go to review on that one too. So go watch his uh, review when it comes out. And that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out our podcast, uh, which the next two episodes is a lot of BS, funny stuff. All right. And then we have membership and we have sweat so i will see you guys in the next one bye guys